everybody, this is Scott Sharp with Fretboard Toolbox, and today we're going to look at walking chord progressions or walking bass lines in the key of C major. So let's get started and I'll show you how it works. So today we're mainly going to be using my Essential Edition, uh, Essential Fretboard Toolbox here for the key of C major. Um, and I've got videos showing how chords are built and things like that. So you're going to need to know all these chords here today. And, uh, and you're also going to need to know where the notes of the major scale are all laid out. So the uh, Essential Edition has um, the notes for the C major chord, the one chord, and here's your F major, your four chord, and your five chord. And then we've got the two, three, and six chords. Here's three and six. So we've got all those chords that uh, we're going to be using. And then we're going to be playing along with these kind of progressions. Um, but what I did today is I just uh, screenshot all of these uh, various uh, fretboards here so that we can move between the chords so when we go from a one to a five chord we'll be able to see what we're doing but today we're going to start out with just playing uh, a C major chord and then add some little walking bass lines for just the C major so while I'm playing just the C major chord you can look at either one here the essential uh, the complete or the essential books and I'll get a backing track started so if you go to the fretboard toolbox website and you click on let's see here 200 free jam tracks we'll go to the C major jam track and see if we can play that here and we're just going to be using those notes that are in the white boxes there so the notes from the major key So there's a thousand ways you can do it. And my goal for you today is not to play everything that I play as I play it, but I'm gonna play a lot of different walking lines. And when you find one that you really like, um, then I want you to pause it and you can use that little gearbox to slow down the speed uh, and just see um, if you can figure out what I'm doing here. So um, again, I'm just using those notes in white boxes. And so like G, a, B, C, that's G, A, B, C, and then I did G, A, B, C, I did F, E, D, B, C, yeah, I did a little, that bluesy sound was the flat third note here, so those are shown in italics with the um, essential books um, and the complete, but the essential has it for each of the chords. So that'll make more sense here in a minute. So uh, just find a whole bunch of ways that you can move around while that C chord's playing and try it with the jam track because that's really, really beneficial. And those jam tracks are played at four different speeds each so you can uh, play it however fast you want. So now we're gonna go from a C to a G to a C. Okay, so that's a one five one progression, and so seeing the uh, essential here, we're looking at C major to G major. So as I'm playing the C and I want to get to a G, I could go to this G note or this G note. So let's start out going to the lower one here. So if I play C. So that's just uh, C, B, G, or I could go C, B, A, G. So 
So there's tons and tons of ways I can go up to this G note. So. I can go C, B, B flat, A, G, like. That's called a chromatic run when you play all the notes in between. Um, but just pause lots of times in this video and see if you can find cool ways to move between these chords. And, and if you're more advanced player, find some cool ways up the neck. Like when you see I'm playing up here, you know, where can I grab some of those notes and use the white boxes to, to jump in between those chord progressions. So if you want to hear that with the jam tracks, we can throw that on real quick and then I'll just kind of mess around and see if you can figure out what I'm doing. Tons and tons of ways, like I said, and, and I really want you to discover a lot of those ways on your own by just messing around and by just seeing what are my most likely notes to jump in between these chords. So that's a 1-5, and you can also like work from a 5 back to the 1, so when I'm on that 5... F, E, D, B, C... Five. So fun, fun uh, to just really figure out some cool ways to do it. Uh, and it takes some time, so don't expect to um, just get it all right away. Then we got a one, four, five. So I need to know how to go from a one to a four chord. And so um, I'm playing a C here, and then I want to go to the F chord. So I'm playing this C as a root, and then if I want to get up to this F note, I could go. So Like when you make mistakes that's critical like all those mistakes are really important and sometimes you're gonna try ones and you're like oh I didn't like the way that sounded great your brain just recorded it or I can go down to this F if you can play that bar chord so C play this C. That was G, G flat, F. So you're going to see some that I, I redo and that's that happens all the time. Like that's important uh, to just have those ones that you just play a lot and that you like the sound of. And then for this uh, one four five progression that we're playing, so C F G, uh, I need to be able to go from an F to a G chord. So here I'm playing this F, and how can I get to this G note up here? And so I could be playing F. That was F 
E, F, E, F, G. Or F, E, G. Or if I'm playing F down here as the bar chord, uh, I could go up to that G and we could do that like. go F, F, E, F, G, A, B, C. And so that's the one, four, five. We could play along with the progression so you can uh, hear, have that sound in your head or have some of the sounds. I'll just mess around with them and we'll focus on the four to five. So playing them with the chord progressions is really, really helpful. Um, on that last one, I, I was on an F here, and then I went F, F, G flat, G. And then back to the C. So that's the one, four, five, or some ideas on the one, four, five. And then the next progression would be a, um, one five four so that's going from c to g like we did and then uh g to f so we've looked at c to g a little bit so let's just see if i'm going from g to f so the one five four is c now i'm on a g That's one way to do it. Uh, and then, uh, or C. Now I'm on a G. Now I went up to the F. So when I went to the G here, the third string G. F. And then F, E, E flat, D, C. Um, so uh, lots of ideas there too, uh, lots of different ways to do it. Um, and uh, let's look at the next one, which would be a one, six, four, five. So I love this, the one, six, like, um, so I'm playing a C major chord and I want to go to an A minor chord. So I can go C, B, A, like that. CBA. Let's see if we can incorporate this G in here. So I'm, I'm playing C. C. I kind of like that. G, B, A. So that's one to the sixth chord. And then if we went from the sixth chord to the four chord, because it's a one, six, four, five. So now I'm playing A minor and I want to get to F major. So I could go. So that's just that. D, E, F, D, E, F. So we 
go C to the A minor, and then just uh, how can I get to my F chord? And, and so if you want to get to this F, like the bar chord, so that was A, A, G, F, F, G flat, G, A, B, C. Lots of ways again to do it, of course. So um, uh, we could play that one with the chord progression. So let's play the one, six, four, five, and just give you a, uh, that sound in your head. Here's that four chord. Back to the C. So that's a one, six, four, five. And then uh, we'll look at one more here. And that would be a one, two, four, five. So I need to go from a C, the one chord, to a D minor, the two chord. So here's my C major, and here's my D minor. So I want to go from this C to this D. So there's a lot of ways to do it, of course. So that was C, C, E, D. C, E, D. Let's find other ways. So F, E, D. D, E, F. E, F, G. So I really recommend just pausing a lot and seeing, finding ways to move between these various chords. And the nice thing about the Essential Book is that the one, four, five chords are both on a facing pages if you get the print book. And then the two, three, six, the minor chords are on a facing pages. Uh, and so you can look at them, the one, four, five, and the two, three, six, all right next to each other. Or if you have a ebook, you can just lay out, you can print them out the pages and lay them out and uh, and just see different ways to move on these chord progressions but it just like adding the little bass lines adds so much more flavor uh, than just And just like um, it makes it more fun uh, and it's something good to practice and the nice thing is uh, even if you're not super advanced you're still just playing one note at a time and it's uh, like there's some little hammer-ons that I did and things like that but nothing crazy up the neck uh, so it's a good place to start when you're wanting to just add more to, to just your strumming so if you'd like to learn more about fretboard toolboxes, if you go to the fretboard toolbox website and go to pick your instrument, I've got books set up just like this for all these different instruments. And if you click guitar today, you can see essential versus complete books. That's the most common question I get asked. The print and ebook options is the second most common question. You can see all the guitar videos I have. And if you click look inside, you can download free pages for all my books. And if you want to check out those jam tracks, the free jam tracks, go to tracks and tab, click on 200 free jam tracks, and you can go to town on those and, uh, and loop them and play them all day long till your fingers are sore and, and find even way cooler ways to move around the chords than I did today. So I appreciate you taking a look and I'll be back on more Fretboard Fridays with more videos and more of my favorite instruments.